I'm up here on the roof at our building at KTVQ and looking around, you can see just the massive amount of snow that we've had in the last couple of days. Now that snow can be very heavy. In fact, heavy enough that if some of it piles up on our satellite dishes, it can actually move them and break their signal out of place. Now, if you have a flat roof like the one we have here, that weight can be a concern, but just how heavy is it? Now I'm down here in the studio to actually crunch some of those numbers and give us a result. Whenever we're talking about weight, we end up with a mass. Mass is always going to be volume times density. So I split up my calculations into volume and density. Let's start with density because this one's interesting, bit of a backyard science experiment you could do for yourself. I took a measured cup out into the yard here at Q2, took some uncondensed snow and let it melt out to give me a volume. This is going to allow you to calculate the water content of the snow you're working with, which will affect the type of density you have. Wet snow is going to be more dense than drier snow, which falls at colder temperatures. Out there right now, the results I got were 50 grams of water content in 400 milliliters of snow. Now, obviously, these are metric units. Through some calculations there, we can take this down to get kilograms per meters cubed, which is very easily converted into pounds per square feet. The result of that conversion is 7.5 pounds per square feet. Now this is not just any snow, this is actually our snow that fell here in town over the last couple of days. With that density we now need to multiply by a volume. I actually used our building here, the measurements from our roof, to give us an accurate number that's kind of a fun representation of the situation here. The dimensions of our building leave us with 13,500 square feet of roof surface area on our building here at KTVQ. I used one foot of snow to multiply for depth. The official measurement for snow depth out there right now at the airport is 11 inches, but depending on where you are, somewhere between 11 to maybe even up to 15 inches is certainly possible. So I took that one foot for the simplicity's sake of doing the math. That leaves us with 13,500 cubic feet of volume. We now multiply that mass, uh, we multiply, pardon me, that volume by the density that's going to give us our final mass, which is 101,250 pounds. Convert that to tons, the number that people know how to work with and means a little bit more to us. That is roughly 50 U.S. tons of mass of snow sitting right here on our roof at Q2. Now, how's that for some winter impacts?